Champions. Okay, we'll give you champions. Your question, Hartley's, is a photograph. Take a look at this. This Bulgarian-born lifter defected when he was not allowed to compete in the 1984 Olympics. Olympics. Identify him for me, Hartley's. Oleg Salemaneglu. No, that's... Uh, question uh, passes on the buzzer of a PSBB. Naeem Suleimanoglu. Naeem Suleimanoglu is what I was looking for. Naeem Suleimanoglu. It was there, but not quite for Hartley's. Just on the tip of your tongue. And sometimes it's a huge distance to travel from the tip of your tongue to w getting the words out. Now, PSBB, Nungam Bakum, you're in the positives and you can really stir things up if you get this 10-pointer. Moments. moments. We'll give you moments then. And moments comes off your video screens as well. Take a look at this moment. A famous match, very famous match indeed. Where was it held? PSBB Nungam Bakum. Bolin Park in Pal. They didn't want to leave anything to chance. Bolin Park in Pal it was. Pal would have been good enough for me. What a great match. I was up to 2 in the morning watching that game. Now, Abhinav Pune, PSBB have come storming back. You need this 10-pointer. Miscellaneous, etc. Legends and snapshots. Miscellaneous. Okay, miscellaneous uh, tend to be unusual questions. So, take a look at this video clip. And identify the man on the catwalk for me. Identify the man on the catwalk for me. Who is this man walking the ramp? In effect, who is the male model? There he is once again. Abhinav Pune. Identify this personality for me. Yes, go for it. I need an answer now. No question passes on the buzzer of Hartley. Nicholas Kiefer. What an answer. Nicholas Kiefer, it was Nicholas Kiefer. Hartley's, this is turning out to be an amazing round of all tiers. Because now Hartley's have hit their 10. They missed one early on. And now they've got to hit their own 10 pointer. And you've got etc. Legends and snapshots. Your choice is? Legends. Legends. Okay, here it is. Here is your photograph. Take a look at this man, a neurologist by profession. Who is he? A neurologist by profession. Who is he? Hartley's Kolkata. Yes, go for it. Go for it, Hartley's. Vasily Alexis. Question passes on the buzzer. PSBB. Roger Bannister. Yes, it is. Yeah. Roger Bannister. Abhinav knew it as well. They were, hunt, they were on the hunt for the buzzer as well. PSBB just picked that one in. Roger Bannister. The other two teams knew it. This is an extraordinary standard at Altis. Let's take a look at the scores. So then, slipping into third place are Abhinav Vidyalaya with 25 points. Making a stunning comeback are the Patna Seshadri Balbon from Nungambakam, Chennai with 27 points. And in the lead, Hartley's High School, Kolkata, but only just 30 points. On a big final, after a countrywide search, you cannot get closer than this. Look at this curve. Watch for the blue of PSBB Nungambakam out of nowhere. The yellow just hitting a bit of a flat line, as indeed the brown. But there is absolutely nothing separating these three teams. The top three teams in India, in the final that will determine who goes through, are five points apart and Fortius will determine who becomes national champion. What that means is all you three lifelines, it's time to head up and go into our isolation chamber while we play Fortius. With which country did the brothers Bobby and Jack Charlton win the Soccer World Cup? मैं सिलेक्ट नहीं होऊंगा। होगा यार। बस कर ले इरादा। जिंदगी का जिंदगी का वादा हमारा। जिंदगी का जिंदगी का बस कर ले इरादा। ये हमारा। जिंदगी का हीरो। इरवान। तुझको जमाना होगा। मैं सिलेक्ट हो गया। हीरो। सब की नजरों में हीरो। Fashion Inners brings to you the finest action from the UEFA Euro 2004. Catch all your favourite stars and the most spectacular saves in our coverage on ESPN. Super saves are brought to you by Euro Fashion Inners. Prepare to get assaulted. is why
why our insurance solutions are also one step ahead. Tata AIG Life, a new look at life. Euro fashion inners, prepare to get assaulted. Euro fashion inners. Welcome back to the ESPN School Quiz 2004. After a nationwide search, it's come down to this. This round, with the three teams virtually locked together, will determine who India's national champion is. Let's play Fortius. Okay, Fortius means tougher, stronger. These are the qualities we expect because these three teams are locked together. This is going to be an enormous trial of mental strength. And they're only young boys. I'm going to call Hartley's Kolkata up first. Can I ask you? Now, Hartley's Kolkata, we're all going to breathe very heavily in this round. Can I ask you? lead by five. What is your choice? Let's get the lifeline in. What do you think you should do? Five or ten? Five. Five. Okay, here is your five-pointer. To go ten clear of Abhinav and eight clear of PSBB Nungambakam, Chennai. Which team reached the finals of the NBA championship on the last two occasions. Which team? New Jersey Nets. New Jersey Nets. I'm glad you paused just for a moment. Didn't blurt out the answer. New Jersey Nets. This is like a major penalty shootout, like a World Cup final shootout. One man is hit and gone. PSBB Nungambakam, Chennai. Come along. And what is your strategy going to be? Lifeline. Yes. And Lifeline, what do you think? Take a five. Yeah, yeah. Five. Yes. Sit on their backs. Take a five-pointer. By taking the wickets of Hanan Sarkar, Muhammad Ashraful and Ahsan ul Haq, who became the first bowler to claim a hat-trick of the first three deliveries in a limited overs international. Chaminda Vas. Chaminda Vas of Sri Lanka, the hat-trick against Bangladesh gets you five points as well. Now, Abhinav Pune, come round. And you are going to choose by five as well. It's a cat and mouse game. There is far too much at stake here. At some point, somebody is going to have to break this mold. Here we go. Abhinav, your five-pointer. Which Formula One driver won the first Grand Prix of the 2003 season? Which Formula One driver won the first Grand Prix of the 2003 season? David Coulthard. They've all hit their five-pointers. David Coulthard it was. And they've all finished breathing and gone back to where they were sitting. Status quo. Come back, Hartleys. Exactly as it was, each of the three teams hitting five. You are in the lead. Ten or five. 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 I thought it might be five, actually. Here is your five-pointer. In which sport did Vishal Uppal and Mustafa Ghaus earn India one of her 13 bronze medals at the Busan Asian Games 2002? Tennis. Tennis? Sure. sure. Tennis, it was. Well done. Tennis, it was. They are going after these five-pointers very well indeed. PSBB Nungambakam, Chennai. Let's check with your lifeline. Five. Ten or five? Five, five. Yeah, five. Nobody wants to make the first move. Five. Somebody has to at some point. Five pointers. We had four in a row. Here is the next. Which 2002 Asian Games gold medalist later became the first Indian to make it to the finals of the World Athletics Championship in September 2003 in Paris? Which 2002 Asian Games gold medalist? Anju Bobby George. No, we were not talking about Anju Bobby George. Which Asian Games gold medalist later became the first Indian to make it to the finals? It was Neelam Jaswan Singh. It was Neelam Jaswan Singh. Now, let's get Abhinav Pune in. Five. A ten will draw you level with them. Five. five. But you want a five-pointer. Here is your five-pointer. Bobby and Jack Charlton were the two brothers from the winning side at which edition of the Soccer World Cup? 1966. And they represented England. 1966. England is the answer. Abhinav Pune, well done. Five pointers. Now, last round of quizzing. 32, 35 and 40. What will I take? Five. If you take a five-pointer, then Abhinav Vidyalaya can draw level with ten 
or win it with 20. Indeed, PSBB can win it with a 20. If it's a the, very if, difficult decision. If I have enough time, they win. Are you listening? Yeah, I know. So, what? I just go for the 10. 10. Do you want a minute more? Certain? Yeah, okay, 10. Here is your 10 pointer. If you hit this 10 pointer, you make life very difficult for the others. First 10 pointer, tension is unbearable. Listen to this question very carefully. Which football tournament, named after a prominent civil servant with the names Henry Mortimer, also shares its name with the international border between Afghanistan and Pakistan? You know? Okay, take it. Durand Cup. Durand Cup! Oh, dear. they were so excited. Durand Cup it was when the time came. Hartley is showing their class with a 10-pointer. And time now for PSBB Nungumbakum to come down here. 32 to 50. Long journey that started through the preliminaries where they were unbeaten all the way into the final. A 20-pointer will put you ahead of Hartley's. I'll wish you luck with this 20-pointer because you are an outstanding team. Here is your 20-pointer. Listen carefully, it's a long one. Hiromi Misaki and Lee Diu won third and second place respectively in this sports event at Milan in September-October 2003. Which sports person in only a second appearance in the World Cup final won this event? Hiromi Misaki and Lee Diu and the answer is Anjali Vedpatak Bhagwat. Anjali Bhagwat is correct! Yes. Anjali Bhagwat is correct! PSBB Nungambakam hitting the 20 pointer that mattered. Oh, they are a classy team. Well done, PSBB Nungambakam Chennai. And this is now the last question of the ESPN School Quiz 2004. Would you have imagined it? After a countrywide search, the national champion will be decided on the last question of the day. Abhina Vidyale Pune, 20 pointer. Here is your 20 pointer. You've got your lifeline open as well. If you hit this, you are national champions. Here we go. Who scored two goals each against England and Chile in the quarter final and the semi final of the 1962 Soccer World Cup? and was allowed to play in Brazil's 3-1 win over Czechoslovakia in the final despite having been sent off in the semi-final. I'll read it for you one more time. Who scored two goals each against England and against Chile in the quarter-final and the semi-final of the 1962 Soccer World Cup was allowed to play in Brazil's 3-1 win over Czechoslovakia in the final despite having been sent off in the semi-final, Abhinavidya. Garincha. Garincha! They got it! Garincha it is! And Abhinavidyale are national champions for the ESPN School Quiz 2004. Well done, Abhinavidyale. Let me check your pulse. Very well done indeed. Congratulations. So what an extraordinary final we've had. And that means it's time to call the lifelines in again because they have been absolutely fantastic on this great journey all the way through to the final. PSBB Nungambakam, Chennai, you are a fantastic team. We are absolutely honoured by your presence on the school quiz and I'd like the school to carry the tradition further. And I love the fact that your two colleagues have given you, your rivals have given you a fantastic ovation as well. Very well done, Vishal and Sri Krishna. Congratulations. Now, the two Rohits, Rohit Chandrachur and Rohit Bahulekar. Congratulations. National champions, they're starting to get used to it now. I've got one award though. This is for the hero of the day, the 20 pointer that made the difference. May you never forget the word Garincha in your life. Rohit Bahulekar, you are a hero of the day. And you win for yourself this little trophy and a hero Razorback cycle from Hero Cycles. Congratulations, you're an outstanding team. And my heart goes out. Hartleys, you are a very, very high quality team. Champions of the East, national finalists. Very well done. Thank you very much for coming to our quiz. And of course, we've still got one major award to give away. And that is the winner's check. 
And for that, let me invite Mr. A.K. Dingra of Perfetti Van Mill. Come along, sir. Congratulations. Very well done. Well played. Congratulations. Congratulations. Very well done. May I? There you are. You don't want it? Winner's check of five lakhs of rupees for your school. Well done. Okay, I'd like all of you to come together because this has been an absolutely well fantastic well round. The three best teams in the country, the ESPN School Quiz 2004, could not have asked for more. We live with the performances of these boys and they have been outstanding for us. That's all we've got for you. Next year, we hope to have these teams, better teams, and an equally high standard of quizzing. Thank you very much for being with us on the ESPN School Quiz 2004.